Hey guys, this is Austin, and this is about the cleanest gaming laptop you'll ever find. This video is sponsored by Lenovo, and this is the Legion Y7000. So if you guys are not familiar, Legion is Lenovo's gaming brand, and they're doing some really interesting stuff. First of all, take a look at this laptop. Do you know what you won't find? RGB, or well, really anything that sort of screams gamer. This is a very understated design, and I like it. Combine that clean white lighting with the all matte black look, and this is a seriously different gaming laptop. And it is also helped by the fact that this is a nice soft touch material as well. Performance is definitely a strong suit with the Y7000. Inside, you'll find the Core i7 8750H. This is the latest generation 8th gen processor, which importantly has not only six cores, but also a boost clock of up to 4.1 gigahertz. Now sure, games are becoming more and more multi-threaded to take advantage of that six core processor, where I really notice the biggest difference is in multitasking. Even when I have a ton of programs and tabs up, maybe I'm doing something like installing a game in the background or trying to stream, it does hold up. That i7 is backed up by a full NVIDIA GTX 1060 with six gigs of RAM. Now this is a really good combination for a gaming laptop like this, especially when it comes to playing at 1080p, the 1060 has absolutely no problems. This 1080p panel is pretty solid. It's a full 15.6 inches, and importantly, it does have a pretty decent brightness of around 300 nits from that IPS display. I will say there are a lot of configurations with this laptop. So my model has 16 gigs of RAM, which is backed up by a 128 gig SSD and a one terabyte hard drive, but you can option this down to eight gigs of RAM if you want. You can also go for pure SSD storage. And one of the cooler upgrades is a full 144 hertz panel. Personally, I would opt for that 144 hertz display. This actually has enough power to play a lot of games, not only max out at 1080p, but well above 60 frames per second. We are not dead yet. That's always a great sign. So Fortnite is absolutely no problem for the system. We're easily able to play at 1080p with fully max settings, and we're getting similar in the 70 to 80 frame per second range. That 144 hertz panel would absolutely be paying off right now. Also, did you guys see I didn't die there? Austin, can you please seriously play something else? Wait, wait, why not? Don't you want to see more Fortnite? No! What do you want to play? Black Ops. Black, Black Ops? Ops? Oh. Oh, you, I just died, so I guess we have to play Black Ops now. Fine. No more Fortnite. Look at the settings here. Yo, shout out to, who made this one, Treyarch? This is actually really, really nice. We got global illumination quality, subsurface scattering. Wow, this is actually a proper PC port. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, wow, are you serious? Everyone's dropping right here? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Listen to those speakers. It actually sounds really good. So this does have Harman Kardon audio. It has a pair of front firing speakers, which sound pretty good to me. Performance seems to be pretty solid. So we are running with pretty much full maxed out settings at 1080p. And right now I'm getting about 80 frames. The lowest I've really seen though is around the 60 mark. Where, where, where is that coming from? Well, actually shoot him. Wow! Now this is not the thinnest gaming laptop around, but it is fairly portable. It's only a little bit over an inch thick and it weighs about five pounds. Realistically, this is a nice sweet spot between a super thin and very expensive gaming laptop, as well as something that's much thicker. It's got good thermals, but it's also something that you can actually, you know, fit in your backpack. Or, I don't know, Kim, what do you do with gaming laptops? Where do you put them? <laughs> Here's the test. I can easily hold a laptop in one hand, no problem. That, my friends, is the gaming laptop portability test. One of the interesting design decisions is to slightly raise the screen in the hinge to give more room for the thermals underneath. So basically all the hot air is being exhausted out the back and it still does leave room for most of your ports. The selection is pretty solid. So there is a USB-C port, which sadly doesn't support Thunderbolt 3, but it's still appreciated. We do have mini display port, USB-A, as well as HDMI and gigabit ethernet. And on the left and the right side of the laptop, we have another pair of USB-A ports, giving you a grand total of three. It's especially appreciated because even though it's nice to have a lot of the ports around back, sometimes, you know, you want to plug in a flash drive to the side of the laptop. The keyboard is classic Lenovo, which is to say it's about as good as it gets for a laptop. Not only do the keys have that nice, very familiar shape, but importantly, the feel is pretty much on point, not only for typing, but especially for gaming. The Lenovo Legion Y7000 is a seriously dope gaming laptop. Not only does it have plenty of performance for 1080p gaming and streaming, but importantly, not only does it look nice, but it won't break the bank. Definitely worth a look. 